I can't believe <laughs> I'm on camera like this. One of the most important ingredients for me is um, water and aloe vera juice. Hold on. And I put it in this spray bottle here. I put equal amounts of water, filtered water, and aloe vera juice, and I mix it up and I use it to dampen each section that I'm gonna twist up. Um, it's really, really great to rehydrate your hair. It has a great healing properties. Um, I will put in the description box below which brand that I use and where I get it from. The second ingredient is um, oil. And the oil that I use is castor oil. This is like the holy grail for my hair. And this is actually Haitian castor oil. And the reason why it's in, it's in this container is because my mother brought it straight from Haiti. So I have a whole like big, bigger container of it. And I just put it in here so I don't waste it. And I, I cherish it. Um, it's really great. It has this nutty uh, scent. Um, <clears throat> the alternative if you can get your hands on Haitian castor oil. Although I do know of a company, um, oh, when I think of it, I will put it in the description box that actually sells Haitian castor oil in the States. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking where do they get it. Um, also you can get it on Nostrin I believe. Uh, in Brooklyn, anywhere in Brooklyn you'll probably be able to get it. Um, it's, it's wonderful. I use it for my hair. Um, I use it for my skin. Um, it has tons and tons of different uh, uses for this castor oil. The third ingredient or product ingredient, right? Product that I use is Curl Enhancing uh, Smoothie, and I use this because it's moisturizing as well as giving my giving my hair a little bit of hold when I'm twisting it. I really, really love this product. I use it for most of my styles, um, and it's just it's just a wonderful product because it's moisturizing my hair as well. The fourth product that I use is. Vatika oil and the Vatika oil I'll use after um, my hair has been twisted and when I'm ready to untwist them, unravel the twist. I use it to lubricate my hands. Um, it's really, really great. Um, smells wonderful. It has all these great um, herbs in it. Um, so definitely something you should have in your uh, stash of products. I also use it to pre-poo which is wonderful because again it's coconut oil like your hair absorbs it easily and it has all these great herbs. I will also put this in the description box. My hair right now <clears throat> is in four mini like Bantu knots I guess they are. Yeah they're Bantu knots and what I did last night was I was so tired um, that I just, and I knew I wanted to twist it today, so I basically took uh, each section and um, <clears throat> twisted it against itself. You can see how it was, and what it's just going like this basically, and twisting down like a bantu knot, and just pull it, putting it into itself, and then um, holding it with this, like this. Um, and the purpose of me doing this is to get my hair as stretched as possible um, without adding heat to it. I'm really going on a no heat challenge. Um, I've been natural for many, many years now. And um, what I've found is I usually will cut my hair, uh, I want to say like every three to four months. And I'm right now I am on a protective style uh, binge so since it's the weekend I'm gonna wear my hair out um, but come during the week my hair is usually up inside a ponytail or a bun or I have like if I do like a set of Marley twists I'll keep in for you know four to five weeks but um, right now I'm gonna show you how I do my big hair twist out uh, what I do essentially is um, it's already parted how I want it parted, which is great. Um, I'm going to take a section, the desired section that I want for the twist. So this is good. I'll take this part, put it in the back just with this, and uh, <clears throat> just kind of comb through it to with your fingers, finger detangling so that you don't have any knots before I apply the um, the water. 
I'm really big about being um, gentle with my hair um, because I'm trying to grow it out. So once I feel like I've detangled the section pretty much, I will spritz it with the aloe vera and water mix that I have. And again, I will smooth the hair, smooth the hair down. Also, this also helps release any um, shed hair that I might have. Now, once I've worked the water aloe vera mixture into my hair, um, I'm gonna add the oil. I, okay, I don't use a lot of product. I don't know if you can see. It's probably about this much, which is probably about a dime size amount that I use and I distribute it in my hands and I, again, I'm smoothing it down into my hair. It smells so good, it smells so nutty. And growing up I hated it because my mother used to like douse my hair with it going to school and I used to be the girl that had the hair that smelled funny and it's crazy now as an adult I'm like I don't care I know it's great for my hair and that's what I'm gonna use if you don't like the scent you can break it up with um, some essential oils maybe some lavender or some rosemary to put in it once I've worked the oil through my hair I'm gonna add um, a dime size amount of the curl enhancing smoothie and it's probably about that much about that much that I'm gonna use I don't want to use too much product because I don't want to build up on my hair distribute it to my palms and again I'm gonna smooth it down now I'm gonna take my wide tooth comb and work it through and now for the twisting part now when I'm twisting it, you want to make sure you get equal parts of the hair. You don't want to have um, one section bigger than the other, then the twist is going to be awkward. And when you're twisting, I create a little tension at the root to grab the hair. You can see the tension and then I twist it over itself, still creating the tension and then I loosen up and I just twist down and I just twist down. It's very easy um, to do this. Um, I also just take a little dab of the uh, castor oil and I put it on, as I'm twisting the ends down to put it on the ends to further um, seal. And I'm gonna go on and do the rest and come back and show you. I have no idea what just happened. My camera just told me it wanted to automatically stop recording. Makes absolutely no sense. I am back. And my hair is all twisted up. Um, it's 11 twists total. I'm gonna show you what the back looks like. And um, yeah, this is my hair. Um, so now I'm just gonna go about my business. Um, probably uh, work out really quick um, pick out what I'm gonna wear and then uh, shower do my makeup and then come back and unravel these okay so I'm back and I did everything under the Sun um, so now it's time for me to take these out and what you'll notice is I have these rods in and the reason why I put them in is because um, just to stretch my hair a little bit further I didn't do anything special I just took the twist and stretched my hair um, as you can see it's nicely stretched it's still in the twist so I'm gonna take out the these rods um, and then I'm going to put the Vatika coconut oil on my hair and um, unravel them. So I'll do that. Okay, all right. Now that they're all out, I'm gonna take the Vatika oil, okay? And pour probably about, I wanna say, ooh, about that much. And what you wanna do is distribute it to your hands. And then I just, Pull it through. Oh, it smells so, so good. I've been using Vatika oil for such a, such a long time. And I'll just start from the back with unraveling my twists. And what I do is as I unravel, I kind of open them up because I don't mind that it's not completely defined in a twist. 
So now that they're all like unraveled and pretty much opened up. I like my hair big and wild. <laughs> this is it. Just make sure there's no spaces in the back. I hate that. Sometimes I get like a space in the back and you can see where my part was, but I'm gonna turn around and hopefully you can see the back. Yay! Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, like. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you and have an awesome rest of the week. Bye. Oh, it came out really great. Oh my God, it's so hot in here. Ooh, it's